Okay guys, so I wanted to come and show you a glitter haul today, but first I had to share this with you because I know most of the people watching this are creators of products that go out to people. So like you ship items. So we all know that we've been hearing the stories of the crappy shipping that has been going on since before Christmas, how it has messed everything up. So I just wanted to show you. This arrived in my mailbox today on February 18th. Um, it is a Christmas card from my landlords who um, we're going to work on purchasing this house from them. Um, but it was very weird and very ironic that this was in the mailbox. I opened it up. I looked at it first thinking it was a birthday card for my son because his birthday is in two days. And there's a couple of those that are supposed to be on the way. And, well, we may or may not ever receive them. Um, so, I checked the mail for glitter mail. And this was in there. So, I flip it over and it's got our name on it. And it's from the landlord. And I was like, well, what in the world? So, I look at it. And do you notice anything suspect about that date? Okay. Charlotte, North Carolina, December 21st. This is from the island that we all like to go play and hang out on all the time. It's like our beach spot. And in order to get off of that island, you have to pass my house. So, this should have went to our nearest depot or, like, main sorting center, which is not 300 miles away in the center of the state. It's actually about 45 minutes northwest, I think, of me um, in another town that is not Charlotte. So... The sweet irony, it took two months for this card to get to me. The person that sent it to me, I love them dearly. Um, we really have enjoyed renting from our landlords for the past several years. So much so that we are going to be attempting to buy this house before summer is over. So, I just wanted to share that little tidbit before we get started into the glitter mail. Okay, so this lovely package is from the one, the only, Glitter Heart Co. We are open opening this for the first time together, so I know what's supposed to be in here, and I am very excited to open it. Love these rose gold mailers. Dun, da, da, da. Glitter mail. Glitter, glitter, glitter mail. All right, so okay. Excuse my fingernails, y'all. I was about to do them this evening, but I decided I needed to do this when the mailman ran, because I was stalking the mailman, y'all. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Not what I expected, but gorgeous. Alright, so, protective bag to make sure that if anything happens, it's all safe and protected. So, this is Pink Chameleon. Let's zoom in a little here. Oh, that's nice and zoomy zoomy. All right, so pink chameleon. I'm a little. So I'm hoping it's going to do that changey changey. It all kind of sticks to the bag, so it's hard to see inside. And it's heat sealed. Let me grab some scissor whizzes. So 
see if we can open it and get you guys a little peek. Peeky peek. Ooh. Okay, yeah. There we go. So it's got like of a, a pink to gray. And see, so you can never see that through the bag because there's a bunch of little pieces that stuck to the bag. Because that's just how that goes. Sometimes it bees like that. All right, so that is Pink Chameleon. Next up, I love, love, love like reds. I am really getting into the reds here lately. So this one is Majestic Rose, and the camera is not picking up how gorgeous the color is. My lighting isn't the greatest tonight, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous I was just going to try to open it, knowing there's a little situation going on here. Oh, look. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love... How full of these bags come. Alright. So next up we have Pandora. This one is a nice holographic. Oh that one's sealed a little low. This one's going to be hard. Oh. very carefully there we go <gasps> thankfully not much dumped it's okay he's okay just a little bit okay but still look at that Sean and yes I could have opted to get bottles guys but I didn't because I prefer to put it in my own bottles because I'm weird like that. Love that color. Check it out. Okay. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And that one's Pandora. So next up, let's do this one. This one is a chunky mix. It is Peach Bellini. So I'm going to go through. Pop that. Wipe my fingers off so I don't get any blue in it. Over here. Okay. So that is really pretty. It's peachy and opal and just gorgeous. And that is a chunky mix. So the next one we've got is Apricot Delight. The gorgeous shine, y'all. And then the last one is a pretty opal, frosty. Oh, 
I didn't get it cut down enough. Shoot. My camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna have to end this in just a minute. So if you guys haven't yet, give us a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos when we post them. And oh my gosh, tell me that's not absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. That one's frosty. He's gonna burst out of his seams. And then there was this amazing little sticker in there because Glitter Heart Co. does awesome little stuff and adds cute things like this to your orders. So this was in there. You just peel the backing off, add it to whatever you'd like. And this one is super cool because it's red, white, and blue. So Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I promise next time my nails will be prettier. Right now they look like crap because my nails have been tore up and I've been biting them to pieces, so I need to do my nails. All right. Bye, guys.